Another thing we have to do is to adjust the belt tension, the linear belt tension. If the belts are too loose, they can actually slip around the pulley and then you get missing steps and you get misaligned layers. If they are too tight, you are putting a bit too much pressure on the electronics, they could get tired uh, sooner. It's not really a huge problem, but you could also get more vibration artifacts because the vibration is going to travel more through the belts. But the range of values that work for the belts is actually high. Now, let's start with the Y belt. The Y belt is crazy loose right now. I recommend getting into the habit of always putting the Y and the X assembly at the same spot when you're adjusting the tension because it's going to feel different depending on where you put it. So I'll always put it in the back here so I have good access to the zip tie. This is way too loose, so let's tighten it a bit. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay, that's better. I can already hear a sound now, but it's still a bit too loose. And this is quite a high sound. I would say this is on the higher sort of higher level of tension, but still good. I wouldn't go much higher than this, but this is all right. It's all fine. Everything is moving smooth. It's not constricting it too much. There's no way the belt is going to slip. Sounds good. I'm going to cut the zip tie shorter, but not completely so I can always grab it with my vice grip and make it tighter if I need to later. Nice. Let's move on to the X belt. For this, I will actually take the extruder off. It's not necessary, but you will see better what's happening there. And the tension is agnostic to the extruder being there or not. That's too loose. We have two adjustment points right here. Now for me, the zip ties heads are on the outside and that works fine. I have good access to it, but you can also put them on the inside. And if you trim them this short, they will not be in the way of the extruder in general. So if your aesthetic feeling tells you that these should be hidden, you can reverse the zip ties and have the heads on the inside of the X carriage. Again, I'll put the X carriage to the right side so I have both good access and good feeling of the tension. Uh, this is still too loose. It doesn't really sound good. And by sound, I mean an actual sound. Let's tighten it a bit more. Ah, we're getting a little bit of sound. Many people would say this is enough. Sounds good to me. Maybe a bit more, but really all of, all of these values already work and it may be that some printer needs a little bit more tension, some needs a little less, depending to some extent how you tightened all the zip ties. But in general, it really will all work fine. It's all good. Let's make these a bit shorter, basically just for the aesthetics of it. I will always leave there enough so I can grab it with my vice grip. And that's the belt tension. We are good to go.